Taft. Hello and welcome to the show. Get comfortable, relax and get ready for a huge game of Pyramid today. Why don't we get straight into it and meet today's two teams. The first of two boys who love a bit of rugby league is Jordan Lucas. <laughs> Tackle. And they're taking on the girls today who love shopping and listening to music. It's Claudia and Vanessa. <laughs> shopping and music, who doesn't love it? Hey, let's meet our first of the two guests today. She is the star of the hit musical Wicked. It is Lucy Durack. <laughs> Hello, Hi. welcome to the show. And our second special guest is one of Australia's brightest young actors. She's already won an AFI award for the best young actress. It's Sophie Luck. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome. Now, Lucy, musical theatre must be so much fun. Was it something yes. you always wanted to do? Oh, uh, yes, it was. I always wanted to act and sing and sing in lots of choirs at school, and, and I'm thrilled to be making a career out of it. Basically, doing what you love. Lots of fun. And right now, it's about Pyramid, which you will love by the end of the show, I'm yes, sure. I'm very excited. Good luck, go and meet your team, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> and Sophie, growing up, who was an actor or actress that you really looked up to? Um, oh, I really like Kate Blanchett and like Tony Collette, so a lot of these Australian actors definitely support. And they're certainly making a big splash in Hollywood. Yes, Is they are. Is that something they're you'd love great. to do? Yes, eventually, hopefully one day. Well, it all started here on Pyramid, <laughs> yeah. maybe before with the AFI award as well. But good luck today. Go <laughs> cool, and meet your team. You. Sophie Luck. <laughs> we all know the game by now. Let's get straight into it. Categories in round one are Been There, Standing Tall, Dude, you don't say. Men at work and DDD. Now, Lucas is up first for the boys. You won the toss. What would you like? I'm um, standing tall. Standing tall, which you are doing right now. Lucy, you're describing plants that we eat the stems of. Oh. 30 seconds on the clock, of course, if you say the word in the screen or any part of it. You hear this out? <laughs> we have to move on. No points. You can both pass at any stage. Here we go. Your time starts now. OK, if I'm crunching on a stick Apple? of... Um, no, it's a celery. Yes. Um, uh, quite often, if, uh, pass. <laughs> um, they have something, something in apple crumble quite often. It's quite of a, kind of a bitter, long stem thing again. It's like red and green. Um, um broccoli? No, uh, let's pass. Um, this is really sweet and it grows in fields of this in Queensland often. Wait, no, a banana? Uh, no, it's like, oh, Yes, sorry. you have to know that. You have to know that. Sugar cane. Sugar comes from bamboo, of course. Pandas eat. That's one correct answer to five points for Lucas and Lucy. How are you doing, Claudia? Good. Good. Are you ready to go? Your choice? Yep. Um, dude. Dude. Or <laughs> dude, as we say on this show. These aren't just any sport. These are extreme sports, Sophie. Okay. You ever been doing extreme sports in your life? No, not really. So well, that <laughs> exactly. that's extreme enough. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. So um, when you, you know, get the big leash on your foot and you jump out and you're something oh, jumping um, and you do it like skis. No, no, no. Like as in you jump out and you're hanging down and you fall. I have no idea. Okay, pass. Um, this one is okay. So it's out of a plane. You jump out of a plane. Oh, skydiving. Yes. Um, this one is a big sort of motorbike and you... Um, like, BMX? Yes. And this one is sort of like not a... Surf. Yeah, um, it's not surfing, but it's the other one you go to where it's all white and you sort of... Oh, uh, um, snowboarding. Yes. Um, and this one is sort of on a moon. Good work. Good work. <laughs> when you do that big jump off the cliff, it's bungee. Oh, bungee cool. jumping. Hey, three correct answers, 15 points. Claudia, good start from you and Sophie. Yeah. Jordan, yeah. ready to go? Yeah. Good boy. What would you like? Been there. Been there. Done that. These are all famous man-made landmarks. Should know these ones. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, I'm in France and I'm shaped like Eiffel Tower. Yes. And um, I'm in Sydney and I. Harbour Bridge. Yes. Um, I'm in London and Big I'm. Bear. Yes. Uh, I'm in America and I stand like this and um, I'm a woman who stands for really good things like freedom and um, I'm in New York and I have a thing on my head and I'm a... Um, uh, pass. That's good. Um, okay, I'm in the same city that we're in now and I'm also... Um, Opera House? A tall... No, pass. Oh, good work. Good work. The last one in America was the Statue of Liberty. What you see when you come into New York on the boat. Three correct answers for you, Jordan. 15 points. Hi. Oh, yes. Vanessa, what'd you like? Um, men at work. Men at work. All right. This is women at work, though, now. Yes. These are, all name these are all things a man might wear. So a man might wear these things. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. 
Okay, so when you're a businessman, you wear a tie? No. I see? Yes. Um, okay, uh, pass. Um, okay, so it's around here and you put it... Belt? A, yes. Um, okay, so when you have stuff on your teeth, you're like... Floss? I, no, 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 like the things that stick on your teeth to make your teeth straight? Braces? Yes. Um, pass. Um, okay, so it's what you said before. Tie? Yes. And this one is, this is sort of like you can watch. No, actually, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, okay, so it can sound... <laughs> Well, basically, when men wear shirts, sometimes they don't have a button. They put a little thing there called a cufflink. Oh. A cufflink was in there. Four <laughs> correct answers. That's all right. 20 points for you. Well done, Vanessa, for her first turn. The two Lulus, Lucas and Lucy. What would you like? Um, you don't say. You don't say. All right, this is all about white settlement in Australia. All things to do with that in 30 seconds. Your time starts now. OK, um, pass. Uh, okay, if I'm going onto a, a land that I haven't seen before, I am... Exploring? Yes, but I am an... Explorer. Yes! Um, if I'm in the forest, kind of Australian kind of forest, and I'm Ned Kelly, I'm a... Um, criminal? Um, close. I'm in the, um, in the scrub, which is also known as the... Um, in Australia we have, uh, pass. Um, if I'm a prisoner in the old days... In the scrub, in the bush, Ned Kelly was a bush ranger. Oh. He was a bush ranger. He was a criminal though as well, so you got that right. One correct answer for you, five points, Lucas. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. And for the last time, Claude. D, D, D. All right, D is the first letter of each of these words. 30 on the clock. Your time starts now. All right, so when um, it's dark, it's another word for dark. It's um, when you rise at the, you rise at the crack of yes. Um, okay, so when we sing, it's me and you singing. We're singing Duet. it. Yes. Um, okay, so we watch these at school and it's sort of people talking. It's not a movie, it's not a film. It's like a um, uh, uh -huh. pass. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, there's a shop in the shopping centre that sells candles and it's called... It's us. Yes. Yes. Um, Okay, so if I'm a little bit, like, tired, I'm sort of a bit... Drowsy. Yeah. 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 Right. Unfortunately, just <laughs> after the buzzer there, drowsy. You weren't drowsy during that round. You were up and going. You got three correct answers. 15 points, Claudia. We better okay. check the scores. And after round one on 25 points, it's Jordan and Lucas. Good job by them. But on 50 points at the moment, it's the girls, Claudia and Vanessa. <laughs> They can't celebrate too early yet because their work is not done. Oh, no, round two of Pyramid. What's going to happen? You'll find out after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Big smiles all around on the girls' team at the moment because they are in the lead after round one. They're going to be kicking off round two for us. These are the categories. Tinny thingy. Ah. In tune, nice threads, eek, and circling the drain, Vanessa. In tune. In tune. All right, these are all musical jobs. How fitting. <laughs> these are all musical jobs for Lucy. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, if I'm playing something like this. Guitar. Yes. Artist. Gu um, yes. Guitar artist. Yes. I think so. if you put the two together, I'm a. Uh, is that all right? Um, okay, pass. Oh, next one. If I'm doing this at the front of an orchestra. Oh, a conductor. Yes. Um, if I'm a uh, uh, choir, no, no, singing. The, yeah, um, I'm a singer. Yes. Um, if I'm <laughs> violinist. Yes. Um, if I'm doing this. Um, DJ. Yes. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm doing this, but to sound. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because you said guitar, then she said playing guitar. It's guitarist. We had to get uh, guitarist, which was the word there, unfortunately. But that's all right. Three correct answers, 15 points for Vanessa and Lucy. <laughs> all right, Jordan. Um, nice threads. Nice threads. All right, these are jobs with unusual uniforms. 30 on the clock. Your time starts now. OK, so I'm wearing a tutu and I'm a... Ballerina? Yes. Um, OK, I've got the big pom-poms and it's like... Cheerleader? That. Yes. Um, okay, you know, on, in the water, you're a, like with a board. Uh, like on a board. No, okay. Pass. Pass, okay. Um, okay, so pass this one. Um, okay, so if I'm cheering a crowd on, I'm like a, I'm for that plate. No, okay. Oh, no, pass. Um, pass. Um, uh, I'm on a board in the water, dude. I'm a surfer. Two correct answers, though. Ten points for Jordan, and well done, Sophie. Well described. Back over to Lucy and Claudia. Um, ah. Uh. Ah. 
Well, you'll say, ah, uh, now, because that is the prize category. So if we can get all six here, a bit of a dance, then we'll take home a prize as well. Lucy, you are describing things that you might find relaxing. Okay. I don't think That's Pyramid's easy. one of them, because there's time on the clock. The pressure's on. Here we go. Good luck. Your time starts now. Okay, if I'm doing this to you, I'm giving you a... Massage. Yes. Okay, if I'm looking down into um, a pool of water, it's also known as a... I have no idea. Um, <laughs> pass. Um, if I'm all warm, I put something in my bed that's I've filled with water um, and it... Oh. Uh, oh. Um, if I'm sitting on something in the play equipment and it's doing this a to swing? me... Yes. A uh, Plural? Oh, yes. Um, if there's all kinds of... Um, iTunes has lots of... On Music? It. Yes. Um, if I'm in a boat and I'm doing Rowing. this... <laughs> Unfortunately, you said water for hot water bottle. That's all right. That's all right. No prize, but 15 points is prize enough, I think, Claudia. You've done very well there. Good job. Good job. All right, Lucas. Uh, um, circling the drain. Circling the drain. These are all things in your home that are circle shaped. All right, 30 seconds. The time starts now. Okay, so you eat off this. Plate. Yeah, plural. Plates. Yeah. Okay, so I can cook an egg in the... Frap it. Yes. Um, okay, so, like, you put them in... Okay, so, sort of like CDs, but it's um, circle. Like, big circle things. Um, um, that, that's right, pass. Um, okay, so when I need to do a number one or number two, I go... Toilet. Go to the toilet. See? Yes. Um, okay, so this you put you listen to music in your car and you put it in your CD player. Yeah, C CD. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. we get the last one there. Yes, we'll give you CD at the end there. So four correct answers, Lucas. Lovely job. Twenty points for the boys. Oh. And with two to go, Vanessa. Two to go. Tiny thingy. Ti oh, tinny tinny thing. Tiny thingy. Tiny thingy. <laughs> These are all things that are made from aluminium. All right. Aluminium. Here we go. Your time starts now. Um, if I'm doing this and I'm playing a game with the ball, this is the bat. Oh. Um, if I've got something in a pan and I'm doing that and it's got uh, yellow yolk with the white, yeah. that's the, um, from a chicken. Pachy? Um, <laughs> what, what's the thing that's yellow with white that's from a chicken? Pass. OK, pass. Um, if I am consuming liquid from something that is tin, it is a... Um, like a Cup. Coke or a... Can. Of... <laughs> they made that one a little tricky for you, didn't they? Yes. They made that one tricky baseball bat as well. Unfortunately, no points for you there, Vanessa. That's all right, that's only round two. Plenty more points up for grabs. Good job. <laughs> Jordan, for the last time this round, of course. Eek. <laughs> you said it so confidently. Eek. All right, these are all words that have double E's in them. So double E in all of these words. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, so you're... Sleeping? At sleep? Yeah. Oh, sort of like when you're you're not you're not uh, you're, you're like yeah. Sleep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. So if I'm a little bit naughty, I'm a little bit sneaky. No. Or... Um. Sounds like exactly. Oh, can't do that. Yeah. Sort of. Mm, pass. Okay. Pass. Um. Okay. So the colour of your shirt is green. Yes. Um. Okay. So there's like it's like a pond, like a river, but it's a like sort of with water running through. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Creek. A oh, creek okay. was the last one there. Two correct answers and ten points for the boys. Good job. And check the scores. After round two on 65 points, doing very well as Jordan Lucas. <laughs> but just out in front on 80 points, the girls, Claudia and Vanessa. Can they keep their lead after round three? We'll see. We're going to take, make the contestants give the clues on Pyramid right after this. <laughs> Pyramid, welcome back in round three. It's the boys with the work to do. They're slightly trailing. Lucas, you're giving the clues to our celebs. You've chosen Sophie to be your celeb. These are the categories. Nay. Bread for success. A vet's a nightmare. Bad feeling about this. A lands down under and slippery customers. Lucas? Um, bad feeling about bad this. Bad feeling about this. All right, I hope you've seen this movie. These are all things associated with Star Wars. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> look at the look in your eye. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Um, pass. <laughs> um, it's a sword. Duh. No, no duh. And they use it to kill people. Um, it's... Killer? No, no, it's like... Pass. All right, pass. Um, 
It's like a little thing and it's it's like a it's crunchy and it's a biscuit. Um a, 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 it it's, is a biscuit. Yeah. Um oh I need right, pass. Oh, sure. Um pass. If you haven't seen them, it's a tough one. The sword's a lightsaber, is what they use. And of course, Jab of the Hut. You trying to describe cookie there? Yeah, yeah. that's going to change it. That's a Wookiee, okay. Wookie. That's all right, no points there, unfortunately, to start round three. Don't worry, though, there's still plenty of chances to win some. Well done over the girls. Lucy and Claudia's caught. What would you like, Claudia? Could I have slippery customs? Slippery customs, you can. These are all things to do with oil. Oh, slippery, 30 seconds. Your okay. time starts now. Okay, um, it, you put it in your car so you can... Petrol? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay, they, um, they are underground and they have axes um, and mining, oil uh, rigs. Okay, pass. Um, okay, um, what's the nurse? The Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. And what did the water come from? Um, from a well? Yes. Oil well? Yeah. Um, okay, pass. Um, pass. Olive oil, olive oil in there. Well done with the well. A nice singing of Jack and Jill, by the way. I have to commend you on that. Two correct answers, ten points. Well done there to the girls. All right, Jordan, you are giving the clues to Sophie. What would you like? Um, vets nightmare. Vets nightmare. All right, these are animals you probably wouldn't want as a pet. Thirty seconds. Your time starts now. Um, it's really big and it's it blows up in the water. Ah, uh, uh, pass. Um, it stings when you step on it. It's from the water. Oh, it's a jellyfish? A, a, uh, a, oh, um, a blue bottle? Yep. Um, pass. Pass. Um, it was a, it's a dinosaur. It's... Dinosaur, um... Pass. Um, it's really spiky around the outside. Oh, it's a dinosaur. It's the biggest. I think it's the T-Rex. You wouldn't want a T-Rex as a pet, would you? No. Of course not. not. And the first one was puffer fish. Okay. That is very well done. That's one correct answer. Five points for you, Jordan. Good job. Good job indeed. Vanessa. No. No. Hey. Do you like horses? No, not really. No, that's good. That's perfect. Because yeah. these words all rhyme with horse. It doesn't really uh, matter. Okay. doesn't really matter. All words that rhyme with horse, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, if you're trained for something, you do a... Horse? Yeah. Um, if you're doing something, you're putting on a... Force? Yeah. Um, if you're putting something on, like... Sauce? Yeah. Um, pass. Pass. Okay, if you're using something again, you're... It's um, a... Of course, uh... It's, it's, it, you said it before, except you need to put a, a word, another word in. Oh, um... Pass. <laughs> a resource. Oh, resource, God. something you use, of course. That was tricky. Three correct answers, though. Vanessa, you're on fire. 15 points for the girls. <laughs> We're two to go, Lucas. And I'm um, bread for success. Bread for success. All right, these are all different types of bread. Different bread types. 30 seconds. Oh. Your time starts now. Um, it's, it's this... This little guy, and he came out of an oven. Oh, crumpets? Um, no, no surname's bread. Something bread. And he ran away from the wolf. Oh, gingerbread. Yeah, but the first word is, yeah. Uh, um, it's in a, it's something tail, and it's a book. Like, oh, it's um, a make-believe book. Something tail. Um, and they've got wings, and a wand. Pass. Pass. Uh, it's yellow, it's curved, and you eat it. Bread it. Right? Right? Oh, banana. Oh. Just after the buzz, yeah, banana, banana bread, of course, delicious. Fairy bread as well, fairies with a little fairy tail. One correct answer as well there, five points. Good stuff, Lucas and Sophie. You're all good, Claudia. Last one, of course, is... All right, lands down under. Lands down under. These are places you would find in Australasia. So a little bit of extension on Australia there. 30 seconds, your time starts now. OK, um... I have no idea how to explain that to you next. Pass? Yeah. Okay, this one's cool. Um, it's like Hawaii, but it's cool. And they, oh, they say bula there. Oh, um, Thailand, um, I don't know who says bula. <laughs> Sorry. Pass. Okay, well, where are we? Australia. Um, um, New South Wales, Sydney. Yes. Um, next. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Very knowledgeable, though. Who said bula? 
Bula in Fiji, so they say Bula in Fiji. Oh, let's go to Fiji. Very nice cool. part of Australasia there. One correct answer at <laughs> five points. Let's find out who today's pyramid champions are. On 75 points, Jordan Lucas. But it wasn't quite enough today. The girls at 110 points are today's champions, Claudia and Vanessa. Great job by the girls. They'll be coming back to play for today's prizes next. Let's say well played to the boys, Jordan and Lucas. You were great. And these prizes are yours. Every contestant on Pyramid takes home this wire pen and note ball from Bolt International. Contact the second book in the Phoenix Files from Hardy Grant Egmont and one hour of free play, power tickets and five prize games from Time Zone. to the show after three hard four rounds we found today's champions and they are claudia and vanessa well done to you guys but of course your work's not done yet how'd you feel about your first few rounds <laughs> nervous nervous yeah you ready to face the last pyramid yeah you look ready to go of course there are 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock so you can take a little bit longer claudia Excellent. you're describing the words to vanessa everyone okay. you guess correctly is a prize <laughs> you can both pass at any stage but of course no celebrity help this time around okay. you're by yourself oh. you're good to go yeah. yeah good luck here we go the final pyramid your time starts now. Okay, um, you put photos in it? A photo album? Um, no, and frame. it's not on the wall. Say it. Frame. Oh. Photo frame. Mm, it's a different word. It, <laughs> not photo, not photo. Frame. N no. <laughs> Will it pass? <laughs> um, I don't know, pass. <laughs> um, okay. Um, monkeys are there, giant trees. Jungle. No. Um, can I put this? It's like it's like a rainforest. <laughs> Python skip next. <laughs> Pass. Oh, okay. What do this particular animal eat? Like um okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um like a dog? Um but they're, they're the opposite of a dog, okay? Cat. <laughs> and they're what they Lion? eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's hard to explain. Hurry! <laughs> 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 it's tough. There's a lot of passing going on. <laughs> They're annoying. That's a tough final oh, pyramid. Don't worry, don't funny. worry. You guys do take home for being today's champions this prize. Before you see the movie, you can read it all with this seven book set of Tomorrow When the War Began, courtesy of Pan Macmillan. So a huge congratulations to all our players today and of course our champions definitely. But we must say a big thank you to our guests today from the Wicked Musical, Lucy Durack. <laughs> and young actress Sophie Lark. <laughs> so well done, this has been Pyramid. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. We've had fun doing it. We will see you next time. See you later!